In this video, we're setting the coordinates on the Wayback Machine to a different era, a time of high horsepower, high compression, and high octane. Of course, we're talking about the age of distributor-style ignition systems. It's been many years since distributors have been used on new vehicles, but there's still plenty of vehicles on the road today that use these systems. The first point-style ignition distributor was developed around 1910, and it was such a success that it was used in production vehicles until the mid-1970s. The primary service components were the points, condenser, cap, and rotor, and the ignition coil was separate from the distributor. If you're not familiar with the concept of points, here's a quick overview of how the system works. The ignition coil has primary and secondary windings. When current flows through the primary winding, a magnetic field is created that surrounds the secondary windings. When the current flow is interrupted, the magnetic field collapses and induces high voltage in the secondary windings. The voltage and current from the secondary windings are directed to the spark plugs through the plug wires, distributor cap, and rotor. Inside the distributor, the points are the switch that controls the flow of current through the primary windings of the coil. When the points are closed, the current flows and the coil becomes saturated. When they open, current flow ceases, the magnetic field collapses, and high voltage travels to ground through the spark plugs. The other key component in the distributor style ignition system is the condenser. As the points open, current will attempt to continue to flow across them by arcing. The condenser quickly absorbs and dissipates this electrical energy. It eliminates arcing between the points, which would burn them up quickly. And it puts an abrupt stop to the current flow through the coil, making the magnetic field collapse quickly for more accurate spark control. Electronic ignition systems emerged in the early 1970s to address the need for better gas mileage, lower emissions, and a more reliable system. While these systems still utilize a distributor, they were a major improvement over conventional ignition systems because they didn't include the points and condenser, eliminating the wear and maintenance problems associated with these two components. Today, most new vehicles roll off the assembly line with a distributor-less ignition system, or DIS. This type of system eliminates the distributor cap and rotor entirely. Instead, it uses multiple ignition coils or coil packs to fire the spark plugs, with the timing determined by the camshaft position sensor, the crankshaft position sensor, and the engine computer. DIS provides a number of advantages over previous iterations of the ignition system, such as fewer moving parts to wear out and better control of spark timing. This increases engine efficiency and performance and reduces emissions. While the auto industry has moved on from distributor style ignition systems, there are still potentially hundreds of thousands of vehicles on the road that still have this technology. In the next video, we're gonna talk about some of the sales opportunities that still exist with point and condenser systems. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.